Hi Aquarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. Uh, sun, moon, rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aquarius, what do we have for you? Grounding, triggered, patience, one more please, thank you, proposal, at the bottom of the deck, heart, okay, let's do it that way, shall we? Okay. So what do we have here, Aquarius? You might have, we are connecting here with someone for you, Aquarius, that you might met them during the autumn season, okay? Had, we have patience, proposal, grounding. On your side, we have a third party, Aquarius. So you might have found out here that this person might be um, might might be texting someone, or you're suspecting that they like to keep their options open because autumn energy it's like energy of withdrawal. Uh, just you might be feeling that day by day this person it's more detached, more distant. Uh, they might not be having much time here and you might be suspecting that they like to keep their options open and maybe they met someone okay with this third party you might be suspecting this we have patience proposal grounding hmm I'm getting very strongly here Aquarius that someone here um, promised you something and they were all and here's the thing I feel that they were telling you, oh, I need more time, I need more time, you need to be patient, it's not the right time, let's leave it as it is, I have so much going on. It's like there was an excuse. Grounding, yeah. Mm. You need to look from, uh, from more practical, in a more practical way about something. You need to be more practical about this connection. And ultimately here we have this energy of hurt. Which is a quite complex energy. But let's see. Let's see Aquarius. Let's connect with this person's energy. Could you please show me this person's energy that we are connecting for Aquarius in this reading please? Spirit energy with regards to this connection. What is this about? Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. Okay. Which is not okay. Ace of Wands. Ah, uh, Knight of Swords. Judgment. Knight of Wands. Too many knights. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. They are planning. One more, please, Spirit. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Moon. Aquarius, I feel that we are connecting here with someone who's been very much in and out in your life. There, there were many makeups, many breakups with this person. Eight of Cups. We have. Uh, this is this is really in and out energy look eight of cups first card on their side which represents walking away right walking away from situation that no longer makes us happy it might be a case that this person walked away essentially they disconnected they you know detached they distanced themselves whatever the case might be and then we have an ace of wands to knight of swords to judgment and to the knight of wands 
this is an energy, a completely different energy, because Ace of Wands represents manifestation, Ace of Wands represents communication, Knight of Swords, it's energy of chases, judgment, ultimate energy of the past. This person here wants to resurrect with something with you, okay? They want to come back around. They want to chase you. The thing about this person is that they are showing up in the Knight of Wands energy and Knight of Swords. This is someone who I feel within time develop a chaser-runner dynamic. Once they are chaser and once they are runner. And there were many breakups, walking away, and many makeups coming back. Communication person really tra chasing you, wanting to be around you, wanting to resurrect things with you. Knight of Wands, this is a very in and out, hot and cold energy. The Knight of Wands brings enormous amount of instability to the situation because we don't know what to expect from Knight of Wands. This energy can stay, for instance, for five months and they can be very engaged, they can be very interested, they might be really proven improving that they care but knight of wands has this energy that it's very easy get very easy distracted therefore something might shift suddenly and you might not hear anything from them for the next five months that's the energy of knight of wands that's the energy they bring in and we have a three of cups this is someone who is very immature we have a third party here we have a three of cups. It might be a case that indeed this person puts you in a third party situation, Aquarius, or they just are non-committal. They like uh, attention, all this attention of others or others' attention. They like going out with their friends. They like partying, whatever the case might be. But the three of cups also might represent a third party. And in this case, I feel that this person got distracted and they started to entertain someone else at the bottom of the deck we have energy of the moon lies lies secrets telling you something on purpose uh, but the reality of the matter is completely different this person was untruthful I feel with regards to certain situation here, with regards to this connection, I feel they were trying to, uh, it's like, you have to be patient, yes, things will get, you know, we'll do it, but at the moment, this is not the right time, it's like, you need to be, we need to be more practical, and the thing is, that what they might have, that what they might have been saying may, it really made, made sense at the time. And you thought, well, yeah, actually that makes sense. Okay, okay. But this is very on and off energy. Very in and out, very hot and cold. They walked away, now they want to chase you and come back. Therefore, if there is a no contact situation with this card, be reassured that this person is coming back. But I'm telling you, um, of course, you know, take it or leave it, it's a tarot reading. But what I'm seeing with this Knight of Wands, and if they will say things will be different, I've grown up. I've, you know, um, I've experienced many things. I understand now certain, uh, you know, certain dynamics. Blah 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 blah. No, Knight of Wands. It's still, it's still this. It it still brings this inconsistent, um, inconsistency. Oh, I don't, sorry. It's just. It's it's just brings this energy of being very inconsistent <laughs> i try to i'm sorry i try to um try to create a good grammar they are still inconsistent oh that's the easiest way to say with the however with the three of cups they do want to reconcile yes they want reunion they want to meet up they want to spend good time with you Knight of Wands is great if you are not looking for a serious relationship or commitment. Oh yeah, Knight of Wands uh, is bringing good time, <laughs> indeed, indeed. However, 
the whole dynamic that is fully attached to the skirt brings uh, instability. That's that, that's 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 the nature of Knight of Wands. Very creative, very passionate. When they are interested, they are fully interested, but they get very easily distracted. That's why this energy is not fully reliable. Mm -hmm. And the moon as the overall energy. They still have secrets. Their intentions here are not, I would say they are not fully pure because the moon is ultimate energy of lies, uh, secrets, mystery, not being fully see uh, the full picture and it's done on purpose. This is someone who's very skillful with their words and they're creating this um, and they're creating this uncertainty on purpose. You might be dealing with with Pisces Aquarius. I also have Scorpio energy. Nevertheless you can expect this person to show up. Mm -hmm. Big time. Let's see your energy Aquarius. It's like this person is all over the place energetically. We have a King of Cups. We have a Nine of Wands. Show me more about Aquarius. An Aquarius is energy with regards to this connection and this person, please. Too many. Two of Wands. Similar energy. I feel that both of you are thinking about each other. Yeah. Six of Wands. <laughs> Six of Cups. Okay. Chariot. This is a Cancerian energy. One more please for Aquarius. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. Okay. So, Aquarius. What I am seeing here that uh, indeed I feel that you have feelings for this person with the King of Cups. You have strong feelings for them, but with the Nine of Wands, you don't trust this person. We have a Six of Wands and Six of Cups. For some of you Aquarius, as a collective, okay, it, it might, you know, it might not resonate this particular message with all of you. I, however, I see here reconciliation. I see you... Mm, I kind of, yeah, wanting to give this person another chance. Because Six of Wands is this energy of victory. This is someone, Aquarius, who wants your attention. It's like they, 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 they care what you think. And even if you feel, oh, Mary, no, no, no. They don't. It's, it really seems that they do. They might not, they might have never said anything like that, but it, it feels like they really care about your opinion. They want your attention. This is also, I'm getting very strongly that this person noticing that you are get, getting a lot of attention here. That's, that's why, um, they want your attention. I know how it sounds, but that's what they're showing me. With the Six of Cups, I feel that you have, that you shared very beautiful memories. It might be quite strong connection when it comes, I feel that you have history with this person. That's what it is. And there were many moments that this person really made you happy. And of course, there were moments that they made you feel that way, right? But with the Six of Cups, I feel that collect, as a collective, you are open for the convers for, to, to have a conversation with this person. If they want to apologize, I feel that you expect their apology because at, at the bottom of the deck, we have a Two of Cups. Two of Cups is this energy of relationship, wanting to be in a relationship, wanting to reconcile, wanting to make amends, and uh, love. 
I feel you do have feelings for this person. Yeah, showing up here as a very emotional, available individual Aquarius with this King of Cups as a first card. You don't trust them fully with the Nine of Wands because this person emotionally hurts you. This is this is a card of Wounded Warrior. This is that represents you and that kind of energy. I've seen it. I've been there. I've known what's going on. I know what's going on. But it doesn't change the fact. I feel Aquarius that you love this person, and you know that's fair enough. With the chariot is, I feel that this person will approach you, Aquarius. They will give you an enormous amount of attention. With the Six of Cups, this is someone who will uh, express their feelings. Uh, they will be coming back to the past and talking about beautiful past moments that both of you might share with each other. And with the chariot, there will be a choice what to do. Should you choose that way or that way? So I'm seeing here that you might be at the crossroad chariot itself. It doesn't represent that kind of energy, but in this case, I feel that it might be, uh, it might be indeed, um, you might be, you know, facing that sort of dilemma. What to do? If to, should I give this person another chance or not? With the Knight of Pentacles, and this is what I'm seeing, with the Knight, with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel, however, that you will take your time. It's not that you will immediately decide what to do. Whereas Chariot represents a very action, or this is a very action-orientated card. So it immediately, right, by default, we will thought, well, this is immediately I will make a decision. No, but we have this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. This knight is taking forever or taking long time in order to make the right decision. And even if deeply inside there is this urge, and you might feel, oh my gosh, I really want this person. I really want to be with them. I was missing them. I feel that uh, you will not immediately welcome this person with an open arms because you also have nine of wands. And this is like you setting healthy boundaries. Um, I feel you're putting yourself first and it's like, um, you do it on purpose because you don't want this person to push their luck or to try their luck, I should have said. I feel you know everything about them. You know them, you know their ways, you know what to expect. But I feel that you love this person and you're coming from the place of kindness of forgiveness and here it is also i've noticed patience and proposal and it might also speak about that situation that actually you might say listen you need to prove yourself you need to be patient and patient because i feel that they're coming with some sort of form of proposal here you see the very similar gesture here represent uh, shown in this uh, Six of Cups card, or on the six, six of Cups, excuse me, card and proposal card. But patience, that's patience. I'm getting uh, you, Aquarius, irrespective how much love you might have for this person. You're also coming from this energy of being very grounded, knowing what you want. I do feel that you have feelings for them and uh, you are ready to forgive this person, but they need to prove that they are worthy of forgiveness. But they will. They are coming. Big time. Show me the outcome for the near future for Aquarius and this person, please. Aquarius and this person, please. The world. Okay. So Aquarius, you might be dealing with another Aquarius. I have Taurus. I also have Scorpio and Leo. Two of Wands. We have this Two of Wands. We have a Page of Cups and Two of Swords. Yeah, Crossroads. That's what I was talking with the with the Chariot. At the bottom of the deck, we have an Ace. Uh, sorry, Page of Swords. 
So, as an outcome for the immediate future, it feels like something here th on this person's side. They kind of uh, ended certain cycle in their life with the world card. It feels like something here changed. Maybe, maybe indeed something kind of profound changed here in their life. We have the two of wands as a mutual energy. Both of you thinking about each other. And this person is coming with an offer of maybe, you know, go offer of meeting up or going out for a dinner or going out for a walk or to have a drink with the page of cups. This is not much. This is a potential. It's like a proposal, you know, it's like a proposition. Oh, are you free? Shall we talk? And with the two of swords, it's like, you know what you want, but this is also energy of the crossroads. And I feel this is like an overall energy as an outcome for this reading. It's essentially showing that the decision will be yours. And, um, and you might indeed face some sort of form of dilemma with regards to if you want to um, welcome this person back to your life or if you just want to detach. But I'm seeing them reaching out, making some sort of offer with the Page of Cups, or they will send you a message, or they will be conversation with phone. Page of Swords. I feel very strongly here, Aquarius, that both of you are quite curious about each other. What's going on in, in your life, in your lives, what's... what's I feel that you've never stopped thinking about each other, both of you. You might be dealing here maybe with a twin flame, an unhealed twin, you know. That, because this is energy of curiosity and also communication, you know, page of swords here as he holds the, the, the sword of communication. So. This communication, conversation, uh, offer of, 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 of some sort, it's coming, coming in here from this person's side because they have the major energy here of reconciliation, wanting to resurrect something with you. You also have card of reconciliation. So I feel that there will be uh, some sort of kind of event that both of you will have a chance to talk about the situation. And at the end with the two of swords, the decision will be yours, Aquarius, what to do with with this whole situation okay so i see you being quite busy when it comes to uh, this particular matter aquarius aquarius i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly 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 appreciate you aquarius i hope this reading was of help and once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.